is going on guys? Hey, it's your boy Manny B here with the Skinny Water Boys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm out here with my main man, Jay Hansen. Hey, we're out here at his home territory, or not home territory, but his uh, what, implanted territory. More or less, don't let him fool you, I'm a Texan. Yeah, hey, he's a Texan, wow, I'm Texan all the way, through and through. But yeah guys, we are in Oklahoma. I have no idea where, like I have, I don't know. All I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys what you gotta do to get fishing license for non-residents and then we're gonna go out and find some water on the maps and hopefully get on some fish. So stay tuned guys, appreciate y'all watching and let's see y'all at the water. So what's going on guys? Hey, so I just got my fishing license here at uh, the old academy. They got the academy here. Oh, uh, but I think, so one thing I kind of noticed that not many channels do whenever they go to different states to fish or just people just go to different states, you don't know how much a license is going to cost for a non-resident. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Uh, so right now I had to buy six day fishing pass for non-residents and that was $35. Um, it's not that's not too bad. I've seen worse like I went to Canada. It was like 80 bucks for like three days something stupid But so there was that but on top of that though if you're fishing inside the city limits of Oklahoma City You have to have a fishing permit on top of a fishing license, which I have no idea why Maybe I can talk to a local why they have that reason uh, The lady just knew I just needed to have one. She couldn't tell me why but I don't know, but those are five dollars a day. I was like, gee, so 50 bucks total for three days fishing in the city. For the rest, I'm gonna be fishing outside the city limits. So I was 50 bucks just to go fishing here in Oklahoma. Not crazy expensive, but can definitely be like a little shocker if you're not like expecting to pay that much just to fish. But you gotta be legal, so none of that uh, fishing without a license and stuff like that happened here. But now I'm gonna head to the water. Hopefully we get on them. Appreciate y'all watching. Let's get it. Big shout out to my boy Jay Hansen. He allowed me to borrow his truck. For the, and I'm gonna pick him up when he gets off and then I think we're gonna go do some bank fishing somewhere else. So let's get it. Actually, before we get on the road, I wanted to, I mapped out some spots on the way here where I wanted to go to. I'm gonna find those really fast. There we go, we got a, about a 20 minute drive to the spot. And then I think the last, last time I was in Oklahoma was when my brother was stationed in Oklahoma, or a lot in Oklahoma. And we would go out there, shoot the gun, a bunch of EE stuff, you know. Now I'm kind of seeing a different, a new area with a new lens. So we'll, we'll see what's in the store. Cause I, honestly, I love the fact of the unknown and not knowing what to expect. I don't know what it, it's just exciting to me. Uh, I, you know, I did some little, little research. I mean, I did some research enough to know where to go. I uh, talked to some friends, shout out to Josh for sure. So my brother, Samuel, and then one B, we're gonna take exit one B, okay. And Billy, my boy, the home Billy, we're supposed to link up Saturday. So here's a spot, I think. We'll find out. I gotta find some gas stations first, though. All right, guys, so I got to the spot. I think I'm gonna start off with the hater, a good search bait for throwing bigger baits, and then. I'm gonna throw a definitely a chatter bait. The water's pretty dirty up here in Oklahoma uh, in this section area. But I was told there's some spots we're gonna go to with Billy that the water's clear. So I'll be in, a, in for a big surprise when the water's clear. When you think Oklahoma, you think most of the time dirty water. So one thing I didn't notice really. All right, forgot to mention was this wind. Oklahoma wind is in, it's like West Texas wind. Maybe even worse. So, sorry about the wind noise. So I don't know if y'all can see it, but right there there's a bird that feeds on minnows. So that's a good sign. 
this bait around. You still wanna bust your ass walking down these rip rap. That would not be fun. Bass was just chasing right here. Damn. Big shout out to the Amber. Josh's girl, she hooked it up fat with some sandwiches for lunch. Bag of chips, I appreciate it. Definitely clutch. <clears throat> hey, you know you gotta put some chips in there. Hell yeah. Okay. Mmm. I'm gonna make a move. Another spot. See what happens. Had one bite over here. I had nothing, something else chasing my lure. Made a big old mud cloud right next to the bank, but no, no bite. So we'll find out. So this is a trail they told me about. Got me good. Little rabbit. Oh, God. It's like a good lake. That's a toad. Oh. Got him. Let's go. First bass of the trip. The smoked. The freaking spinner bait. God. He's not even a toad. Smoked it though. Let's go. Heck yeah. He has to literally hammered that chatter or spinner bay. Oh, there's a big old frog. too hard. Fatty boy, let's go. They're just slurping it up in this grass. Look at that. Let's go. Number two. You guys send, send my uh, Sammy B a pick. Number two. 
baby. Let's go, Sammy B. I think I'm gonna go rest and then wait for Josh to get off work. We'll come back out. Check out this place. If I was a fish, I'd be right under that dock. Oh, shit. I'm definitely gonna start. It's got an aerator over there. Start off with a chatter bait again. Just a bait caster. What was that? What type of bearings? This one is a Corrado 200, uh, 76 to gear ratio. 76 to 1. Is there any bass in here? No. Oh, no bass? I don't know either. That sand though. Shit was four by four would make it. The sand Hurts. sucks. Hell come run, do a run in the morning here. Look at this guy running barefoot. He's crazy. What is this? Dude, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't know. I got something on. I think it's a big ass carp. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I did not expect to catch that. I freaking snagged him. All right, guys. Hey, that's a wrap for day one. Um, it was a rough day. Uh, stuck two fish. Josh got a bite. Uh, two fish were like way earlier in the day. Came back out to the same pond, hoping hoping it would have been better. But I don't know what happened. What do you think, Josh? I don't know. I just don't think there's a fish in that pond. <laughs> yeah. We saw one big dead bass. So maybe that's hey, the that only one there besides the other two I caught. But I appreciate you watching. I'll see you all in the morning. Hopefully we get on some more in the morning. See ya.